In this video, we're going to discuss about the fundamental theorem of projective geometry at yung proof ng theorem na to. Okay? So, according to this theorem, a projectivity between two pencil of points is uniquely determined by three pairs of corresponding points. Okay? So, take note of the word unique. Okay? So, ipoprove natin to for our proof. Okay. So for our proof, let's say meron tayong uh, A, B, C, D, pencil of points. So assume A, B, C, D are in a pencil of points, pencil of points with axis P. Okay, so, kumbaga, dito sila naglalay sa line P. And then, let's say we have A prime, B prime, C prime. Another pencil of points are in a pencil of points with axis P prime. Okay? So, yung points naman yan ay naglalay sa line P prime. Okay? So, then, meron mag exist na point, let's say, point D prime. So, according dun sa theorem na uh, prinove natin last time. So, may mag exist na D prime. There exists a point D prime. on P prime such that A, B, C, D is projectively related to A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. According dun sa theorem na prinove natin sa nakaraang video. Okay? So, magkakaroon ng projectivity between two pencil of points. Now, so ang gagawin natin, mag assume tayo ng distinct point let's say, uh, D, double, D double prime, na nandun din sa axis na A prime. Okay? Which is distinct with D prime. Okay? So, suppose there, suppose, there is another projectivity, another projectivity, and a point D double prime such that A, B, C, D is projectively related to A prime, B prime, C prime, D double prime. Okay? So, dito, uh, nag-assume ako ng, uh, halimbawa, meron pang isang projectivity. Okay? So, meron pang ibang point, let's say, D double prime, such that ABC is projectively related to A prime, B prime, C prime, D double prime. So, ang goal ko dito, dapat mapakita ko na yung D prime na to ay same lang, okay, dito sa D double prime. So, nag-assume ako ng isang point D prime, nag-assume ulit ako ng another point, let's say D double prime, dapat mapakita ko na ito ay same lang. Kasi according sa fundamental theorem of projective ge geometry, yung projectivity daw between two pencil, of, uh, two pencil of points dapat uniquely determined by three pairs of corresponding points. Okay? So, now. So, take note, kapag sinabing projectivity, ibig sabihin nun, one-to-one -one and onto mappings. So, if, uh, for example, A map to A prime, B map to B prime, C map to C prime, and D map to D prime. So, halimbawa, ganun. And then, on to, no? So, lahat ng elements neto may kamap, lahat ng elements neto may kamap, tapos, uh, tag-iisa lang ng kamap. Okay, so, one to one and on to. Or, also known as bijective mappings. Okay? And then, Yung composition of one-to-one -one and onto mappings, take note again, 
that is also a one-to-one -one and on tomatis. Okay? And also, yung inverse function, so halimbawa meron tayong function, kapag yung function na yun ay one-to-one -one and onto, syempre yung inverse niya, one-to-one -one and onto din. Okay? So now, yung idea na yun, since ito ay composition, so by composition, So, since ito ay projectively related dito, ito ay projectively related dito, therefore, yung A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, C prime, D prime, is projectively related to A prime, B prime, C prime, D double prime. Okay? Now, so as you can see, yung A prime, B prime, C prime, invariant points sila. Okay? Now, Kung invariant points yung tatlo, then it follows that yung D prime dapat invariant point then Yung susunod na or yung another point. Okay? According to our action number 6. So kung babalikan natin, ang sabi di ba? If a projectivity lives invariant, each of three distinct points on a line it lives in variant every point on the line. Okay? So, dito merong three invariant points. So, it follows that D prime must be invariant. Okay? So, since A prime, B prime, C prime are invariant points, then the fourth point is also invariant. Invariant by action number 6 or by N6. Okay, so yung N6, kung bakit N yan, na-discuss ko na yan sa nakaraang video. Okay, doon sa duality. Okay, so therefore, kung yung fourth point ay invariant, then yung d prime must be equal to d double prime. Okay? So, therefore, the projectivity is unique.